live in the UK, there is a good chance that over the last day or so, you have heard people talk about snow. Because that is the level of drama that we give it in this country. Other countries, people just, it's an everyday thing. Snow, no big deal. Trains run as normal, planes take off, people just go about their lives. But in this country, snow. Alert, alert, the snow is coming. And it is all we have talked about and thought about and obsessively googled weather forecasts about heavy snow due this afternoon. Heavy snow was forecast for this afternoon in the area in which I lived and here is some real actual footage of the blizzard I faced. Schools have actually closed. And I know it's a cliche that British people always talk about the weather but it's because we are so unprepared for anything other than like drizzle. Heavy rain breaks us. Heat wave breaks us. Very strong wind breaks us. It's like it's a surprise every time weather happens, but snow affects us like nothing else. I have three favorite things that only happen in the snow. Number one, people walk in the middle of the road because there are no cars. Cars can't run, so people reclaim the streets. This is mine. I shall walk wherever I choose. I shall walk onto the local golf course because it's good for sledging. Is it private land? Should we really be here? It does not matter. The snow has come. Number two, people get trapped in their cars, which is bad. And that is not the thing that I'm saying, but they start to communicate with each other. Someone will type something they need on Twitter and someone else will answer. Someone will call into a radio station and someone else will answer. And they all start like sharing out supplies and singing songs. And it's like the blitz spirit, but without the bombs. Number three, everyone becomes a child. Serious businessmen who've never been seen in anything but a suit are suddenly lying on the floor making snow angels in fluorescent colored clothes. Super cool, sulky teenagers are building snowmen. Everyone just becomes silly. Life as we know it is abandoned. Schools are closed. Work, gone. Cars, useless. We will put bin liners in our shoes and go frolic in the cold, wet stuff like an overexcited Labrador. There is something magical in the air with snow, but magical as it may be, we can't handle it. The great snow of 2018 brought this country to its knees. There was no milk in my local Sainsbury's for about three weeks. And we will talk of that great snow for years to come, almost as long as we will talk of the great heat wave of 2018. That was a hell of a year for weather. And maybe it's the memory of that year that's prompted the sort of slightly hysterical tone that's been in the conversations of the snow that is coming. I bought my six-year-old a pair of these. Shops are selling sledges. We get snow for like a day. Now in some places in the UK, the snow has arrived. But here, all the sort of yellow warnings that we've had, yellow snow have been a little bit of a damp squib. And as much as I was dreading the disruption that snow causes to our unprepared nation, I am secretly a little disappointed by the dusting of sleet that's materialized. Because it's nice to have a change, isn't it? And it's given us something to talk about. But who knows, maybe the great snow of 2019 is just around the corner. Maybe we should all go stock up on milk. If you have snow, then comment, let me know. Wasn't meant to rhyme, but it kind of did. If you have snow, then let me know. Comment, would you, down below. If you like this video, press like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.